Let's continue. Uh, trial three, or episode three, rather. Turn about serenade. Hmm. Let's rock. Rock on everyone, this party's not over yet. Get out your handkerchiefs for our special guest. That's right, baby, the night's just getting started. Thank you for coming to the Gaviniers. Guilty as charged tour. This ends the first part of tonight's show. There will now be a 20 minute intermission. Hmm. Gavin Ayers concert. Huh? Did you say something? My ears are still ringing. The Gavin Ayers putting the sick back in music. Well, I thought Mr. Gavin was really nice. Sending us those tickets at 20% off. They're hard to get a hold of, you know. When you invite people to a concert, it's usually free. Let's head to his dressing room, Apollo. You know, like we're a couple of VIPs. I've always dreamed of being a VIP at a Gavin Ayers show. Um, Trucy, you didn't know who Prosecutor Gavin was before that case. What kind of fan doesn't know the lead vocalist's name? Bug just bit me. Give me a sec. Oh, this guy. Well, he was more like a prince, really. He let us in. Clavier. What a lovely name. He's so dreamy. Yeah, but I'm a girl. I'm supposed to swoon over gods and broth. God awful, maybe. I bought all the stuff on the way home from the trial. I got 12 Gavineers albums and 15 concert videos. That was quite a bit of impulse shopping. I got an advance on my next 15 years worth of allowance. For Mr. Wright, that sounds like a real act of generosity. Who would have imagined me here? At a Gavin Ayers concert, watching Prosecutor Gavin wrong. To be honest, he was kind of cool, but I'm kind of envious. Not that I'd ever admit to that, Josie. Not that I'd ever admit that to Trucy, I mean. Ah, you made it! Mr. Gavin, thanks so much for the tickets and the invoice you sent along with them. You were incredible up on stage, Mr. Gavin. Nothing like music to brighten the mood after a trial, yeah? And we're almost ready for our next time. I'm looking forward to it myself. Let me roar singing, right? The siren of the ballad? Oh yeah! That flyer said she flew all the way over for this show. That's right. I happened to watch her show while overseas. Her voice is divine. I knew that I had to invite her to perform with us. Lami Ra says, you praise me too highly. Whoa, who is this guy? He's huge. Ah, allow me to introduce Mr. Romain Latouse. Lami Ra's manager and her interpreter, incidentally. It is a great honor for us to be here and a great honor for Lami Ra to be heard in this country. Oh no, she's speaking in moon runes. That voice. I wish I could understand it. It's so beautiful. Ooh, it's Lamoir. It's Lamoir. I'm all, I'm actually meeting Lamoir. Mysterious songstress. Her quiet deep song glides through the air. Lift lilting above a sparse but elegant piano accompaniment. Now this is music. She's a real artist. Lemur Lem says, we have long looked for forward to this joint performance. Ah, Lemur, your voice. It is odd. Yet without his piano to guide me, it is but a voice. What? 
I've seen this kid somewhere before. He plays piano at all the he plays piano at all of Lemuel's concerts. He's cute, and he's a really good pianist. Good pianists are a dying breed, I hear. Allow me to introduce Machi Tobai. He is blind. This is why he never strays far from Lemuel. They are always together. They're like characters from some fairy tale. I'm not so, what's the word? Exotic. And mysterious. She does seem quite pretty. At least her eyes do. Hers is a kind of sightseeing music. Huh? She travels the globe, putting the sights she sees into song. Even though her appearance and voice are exotic, her songs remind us of something close and warm. Sights into song? That's so poetic. She was gracious enough to put music into my lyrics tonight. The guitar serenade. I hope you enjoy it. I can't wait. And now it is time for the next part. We are giving the Gavineer's hard rock a little rest. Lemua, the stage is yours. The band members will not play during Lemuel's ballad. Only Machi's tender tones and Lemuel's delicate voice. Dulce voice. And my guitar, of course. Woohoo! Nice like this will make it all worthwhile, you know. I should have learned to play the guitar. God damn it. There's not much romance in chords of steel. Call me! Shall we hit the stage then? Good luck, Mr. Gavin. Take care, your hearts aren't stolen away. Yeah. Let's back get let's get back to the concert hall, Polly. I just realized every single note that she sang was matched up with a syllable of how many syllables there were in that sentence. That's that's pretty cool. Wow, wasn't Lemma amazing? <laughs> I even quite a little. I was surprised Prosecutor Gavin actually burned his guitar. Yeah, that even surprised me, and I'm a magician. What a production. What a destruction. I don't think Prosecutor Gavin was expecting it either, oddly. He looked as surprised as I was. Is that what they call risking life and limb for art? I think he's my new hero. I'm not sure I'd call that art. Well, what are we doing here? Let's go get going to Mr. Gavin's dressing room. There's 20 minutes till the last part of the show. How many breaks does this band need? What the heck was that? I was never consulted about it. S sorry, Mr. Gavin, sir. I asked a man in charge. I play new rock, not great balls of fire. Speaking of fire, I have a good mind of fire. I have a good mind to fire who's responsible. He seems upset. Apollo Justice! Were you the one who tried to torch me? Hey, I didn't do it. So much for risking your life for art. The guitar serenade is ruined. Ruined! Well, let's try to talk him talk to him at least. 
I'm not sure that's the best move right now. You mean the guitar that wasn't part of the act? Part of the act? Who burned up a guitar on purpose? But it worked really well with the lyrics just then. Burning on my heart. Burning on my heart. Fire. Burn my love away. All away. Wait. Do you think the audience thought it was... I think you got lucky. They probably thought it wasn't part of the act. At least I did. He got lucky and he didn't realize it. A anyway, that guitar was the Ferrari of guitars. All the speed, all the sound, and all the price. If I burned one of those at every show, I'd go broke. Unusually frugal for a long man. How are you saying that to Mr. Gambit? Back home! Today's been one disaster after another. My hog won't run, my guitar case is broken. Daddy told me there'd be days like these. Uh, wasn't Lamoa's song incredible? You worked on it too, right, Mr. Gavin? Ah, oh, yes, thanks. It was a collaboration. I wrote the lyrics, and she wrote the melody. You know, I was surprised she could sing in English. I'm sure she practiced a long time for this day. Now, yeah, here. What's this? A lyric sheet. It's yours. Signed by myself and Lamoine. Yippee! Thanks so much! I get all I ever get to sign our client defense arguments. Almost time for the third act of the night. Oh, there's more. Yes, Lamois pot is done. Now it's time for us to drop our groove again, yeah? Hope you're ready to catch it. Woohoo! Ready, Apollo? Uh I think I'll pass. Eh? I like the bit where Lamoir. But the rest could use a little volume knob, but turn way down. <laughs> ah, Apollo, you're getting old. Yeah. Does 22 qualify as old? He's 22. To a 15-year-old? Well, I'm going. Let the old folks rest backstage, yeah? Time to rock. Hey, you're older than I am. Now I feel kind of lonely. Aww, Paulo. Do you have feelings for her? Oops, let me do that. The delicious bowl of stew. Very plastic. Police uniform. Next to it is a policeman's hat and a pair of handcuffs. <laughs> is that a blue badger thing? I should name this guy Emo. Get damn it, Apollo. Thick leather gloves and sunglasses. Maybe I'll try these on. On second thought, no. They might be evidence for one of the prosecutor Gavin's kids. Chains dangle from the ceiling. They aren't glimmerous, but I bet Dr. Detective Skyde has something to say about them. Well, guess I'll move. Someone dropped something here. Oh, it's Emma. Hey, it's you, that right kid. 
Detective Sky. I'll let that right kid business pass. Call me Emma. There's no need for titles once you've shared a bottle of fingerprinting powder. That's a new one. So, um, Emma, what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm snacking. You think I want to be here? Me, in charge of security of the pit? Security? Did something happen? There's no knowing with that glimmerous fop. Apparently, he's all upset because something was stolen. He wanted security back here during the concert. Where does he get off acting like he's some big rock star? Um, he is a big rock star. Hey, you listening to me? So, where's this door here lead to? This one? That's Lemuel's dressing room. Don't even think about going in there unless you want the piece of snackaroos in your face. That looks like a hot dog. Is she ever in a good mood, I wonder? What's this? Some kind of headset earpiece? Why would someone leave this in the hallway? Maybe Lemuel's bodyguard dropped it. Emma! Will you stop eating those snacks for one second and listen to me? Ha! Huh. If you think you're gonna pull me away from my snacks as I hear you mumbling, I'm not about whatever, you're going to be sorely disappointed. At least I got her to stop lunching. That's a pretty sturdy looking box there. Maybe it's an instrument case. There's a guitar next to it. Don't even think about taking that. I don't think I could even carry it. Kadonk! She snackerooed me. Come to think of it, I'm a little thirsty. I'll have some tea. I think I'll get a water. I'll have tea! If you want tea so bad, go buy it yourself. She snapped her hood. I'll take a tea. No! What's that odd looking bulb over there? Oh, that's the blue badger. Could you try either talking or munching but not both? She hit me with a snack. Serves me right for going out of my way. So this is Lamoa's dressing room. If you even think about going in there, I'll... What was that? Uh-oh. Was that a gunshot? Something's going on. You! Out of my way! Emma! Lamoa! Lamoa! It's not locked. I'm going in! What is that awful noise? Oh, it's the concert. Oh shit! It's a dead guy! Ah! It's Lamoa's manager, Mr. What's his name? The toast! Oh no! Hey, you! Me? Watch this room for me. I have to call for backup. Oh, right, understood. You want me to make sure no one comes in, right? And don't touch anything. I'll be right back. <coughs> What's going on? I just talked to him and now... <sighs> he... he's alive. Mr. Latouse, can you hear me? Shot. I was shot. Who? Who shot you? I don't know. Ask. Ask? Ask what? Ask witness. Witness? There was a witness? Who? Cold. So cold. Witness. You're cold? D -d Don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Help is on the way. Can't see. Hang in there, Mr. Latouse. Tell me, who was the witness? The witness is Sisera Sire. Sire? How can a sire witness anything? Mr. Latow? Yipes, Emma? What was that? Who's there? What's wrong? Emma, did you see anyone just now? Huh? No. No? I was quite a sworn I heard a door close. The concert's been cancelled. Backup's on its way. Is Mr. Latow's... He's dead, isn't he? That's terrible. I lost him. Romain Latal shot, and I heard his last words. The witness is the siren, whatever that means. The venue's locked down. He took names and addresses before letting the crowd go. Good work, Darion. 
I'll let you know if I find out anything about the victim. Later. It's investigation time then, ja, friend detective. I don't need some rock and rolling prosecutor to tell me that. One request I must make. Tell no one, on staff or otherwise, anything of this. Ooh, a gag order. No word gets out, other than that Mr. Lataus is dead. No word of the cause of death, or of the murder. Tell no one. Not even the moi? Not even her. You must keep everything under wraps. Oh, one other thing. I'll need your signature on this, air forehead. Yours too, Fraling. On that? An investigation request. Why just us? You two are civilians. It's standard procedure. That should be okay to sign, I think. Sign Prosecutor Gavin's investigation request. Right, well, get started with the investigation. I'm on it already! <laughs> and one tip for you. Huh? Me? Try not to get in the Fraling detective's way. She's in a foul mood today. Gee, I wonder why. We were all questioned as witnesses. And now none of us can go home. We'll investigate, alright. Ow, Ray. Somehow I don't see us getting back to that crime scene anytime soon. I still can't believe I was there when it happened. Not an experience I care to repeat anytime soon. This is no time for navel gazing. Let's crack this case. I'll worry about Trucy. She seems to have a very loose idea of what it means to be an attorney. Well, of course, that's not surprising considering who her father is. Something the matter? No. Let's get cracking. I'm the only one who was there. The only one who heard Mr. Latouse's last words. The witness is the siren. First order of business is to find out what he meant by siren. Alright, let's see what this is first. What is that? It looks like some kind of future phone. Not a phone, it's a transceiver. It's called a headset. What's a headset doing on the floor? Wait, do you think Mr. Latouse might have been wearing it? Like one of those bodyguards? I don't know. I don't think he was wearing one when we first met. The LED thing on this list. It must be on. Can I pick it up? You're back. I'm thirsty, Apollo. Want something to drink? How about this one? A steel samurai soda. Now in real steel flavor. Hmm. Huh? Here, my treat. Hey, this isn't enough change. The machines outside are cheaper. This one is highway robbery. You're smart, Apollo. Looks like an instrument case. A big instrument case. There's a great magic trick you can do with one of these. Huh? What kind? The miraculous beautiful girl escaped the case illusion. So it's the girl who's miraculous, not the escape. So picky. A concert poster for the Guilty as Charged tour. I love that name, Guilty as Charged. Seems like kind of negative to me. Well, why don't we do the opposite? Condition Chuchi presents the Innocent as Charged tour. It kind of loses its impact, Guilty as That's the Blue Badger, the police mascot. Does the Blue Badger have something to do with the band? Well, yeah. The Blue Badger is the Gavineer's mascot, too. Huh, go figure. I hear those things fly off the shelves. I'll have to take a closer look at one of them one day. There's one right there, I mean. I'm in Rose dressing room. The scene of the crime. We're not supposed to go in there. But are we involved? Are we duty bound to investigate? Sadly, no. Though, the situation being what it is, now may be our best chance to do some snooping. That's the Gavineer's dressing room. The crime scene was Lamois' dressing room. Next door. Never know what clues might be hiding, Apollo. Let's case this joint. After you, Trucy, P.I. How about a stage? <sighs> I 
I guess. Chip of music for examining a dead body. This is the murder weapon, isn't it? This revolver. That's right, a big 45 caliber pistol. Revolver. Holy shit! To ensure the efficiency and secrecy of our investigation, the bearer is hereby ordered to speak to no one outside the investigation concerning any details of the case. A deadly high caliber revolver. The middle of the weapon is a revolving chamber. That's where you load the bullets. A revolver, see? A revolver, a revolver. That sounds like a bit like Wonder Bar. Uh, I guess. <laughs> She's our Maya now. Yikes, don't point that thing at me! Don't worry, I'm an old hand with firearms. I have one that shoots bullets. I don't want to shooting any bullets, thank you. <laughs> Not those bullets, silly. My gun shoots bullets to magic cat. A cat comes out of a gun? I can tell by your expression you've never heard of that trick. It's a great one. Honestly, that one sounds halfway interesting. That's a body, isn't it? Sure is. The victim, no less. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Go ahead, follow me first. Me? No, you can go for it. I can hear it. Snacks to me you'd like, Emma. But sooner or later, you're going to have to run out of Tim. Mm, you raise a good point. I'm a bit intrigued by this scene. Let's take a look. Ugh. See there? He's holding something. What's this? A key ring? You think it might belong to the killer? Certainly a possibility. What an unusual key ring and what an unusual key.
not the heart shape ring. There are three keys on this heart shaped key ring. Hmm? This middle key is shaped like a guitar. I get it, it must be a key to the guitar case. Identity, you know. Look, there's a little window over here. Maybe the killer escaped through that. The bell is big enough for me to get my head through. Not to mention, it only opens a crack. going to say, can I have it, please, are you? Oh, look at you. You may be a cute little girl at 15, but that doesn't get you any special treatment with me. Oh, it's not healthy to envy the young Emma. It's not about envy, it's about tampering with evidence. Look to self, Emma lacks a sense of humor. Use caution. You need to learn to respect your elders a little. Something seems so familiar about that bridge. some of those, please? Absolutely not. I know, I know, but still, I yearn. Look, you're not the only one who eyeing that fruit here. Well then, what are you waiting for? Let's eat! Right. Whoa, 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 stop it. Are you too crazy? <clears throat> Emma, you of all people should know better. But she tempted me. She's a... She's a temptress. Please grow up. Huh, another ladder. Actually, it's a technically a step ladder. Well, hello, Miss Fancy Pants. Please forgive my lack of ladder consumination. <gasps> I'm less worried about the step ladder and more worried about why it's there. Why is the ladder there? Well, to climb, right? To reach something on the ceiling. Oh, yeah, presenter or something else. So this is the murder weapon. It's been fired twice. You can still smell the like gunpowder. That's odd. What's up? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Hey, no fair. Tell us. It's just something about the revolver seems strange. Strange? What do you think about this revolver? Well, it's pretty big and heavy. That's right. It's a 45 caliber. That makes it one of the deadliest revolvers around. Even the police don't carry guns this big. Really? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. You don't need so much power to kill out at such a close range. 
it's overkill. I'm not sure I see the problem. I mean, whenever I go out to eat curry, I order the extra spicy just to make sure it's spicy. Of course, I can only ever eat one or two bites. Um, and that's not a problem? There's another thing about a gun this big. It puts a lot of strain on the shooter. Strain? Yeah, say if you were to fire this revolver, the recoil would probably dislocate your shoulder. Ouch! It's like the shooter's a victim too. Yet the killer used this revolver and quite well. I'm guessing whoever did it was so used to shooting. Used to shooting a high caliber weapon? Mr. Romain house was it? He was Lemoire's manager and interpreter, apparently. This is his first time in the country. Huh. So I'm guessing he didn't know many people here. That doesn't seem like good. Nor can I think of anyone with a motive to murder him. Except one person, of course. <laughs> one person? Who? The Moa. No one here might have had a motive, but she's from... What are you talking about? Uh, hey, it was Emma's idea. I said nothing. Always with the snacks. He's a big man, or was. I don't think even I would win a fight with him, which is why whoever it was used a revolver, I'm guessing. We've sent a request to the Borgenian Embassy for more info on it. Well, you and I know more about the crime than anyone. You do? That's true. It was us who saw the body. What? Huh. I guess that's what I missed from watching the concert. Hey, I wish I was watching the concert. Anything would be better than this. Well, we know the crime took place during the concert. And when we heard the gunshot and entered the room, the killer was already gone. What? But that doesn't make any sense. You came in when you heard the shot and no one was here? How did they leave the room? Huh. The window is a little too small, isn't it? The mystery of the disappearing killer. Well, that's about it. I think we've looked at just about everything there is. I guess you're right. I know how you're feeling. It's hard to know when to stop. But anything more involved as the way until the squad gets here? Uh, I suppose. I'll go report the evidence. Sorry, but could you wait here until I get back? Huh? Oh, okay, actually, we have to... Great, thanks! She left. What do we do, Apollo? She told us to wait. Great, now how am I supposed to go investigate? Oh well, I guess it can't be helped. Let's go! Huh? Go? Time's a wasting, Apollo. We gotta look around the cover. Well, that's true, but... On second thought, why not? I'm sure everything will be just fine. Of course it will, let's go! Don't say that, Apollo! What the fuck are you saying? That air vent bothers me. If Emma and I came through the door, that makes the vent the only exit from the room. But it's much too small. Hmm, not if the killer were about your size, Trucy. I didn't do it! Eh, I was cutting up the dance floor at the time, thank you. I know, I know, of course I don't think you did it! It's hard to tell with you sometimes, Apollo. Hey, what have I done? <laughs> Who's there? We didn't just imagine that, did we? He was wearing a silk hat. Friend of yours? Hardly! Whoever that was, he sure looked suspicious. Hmm. What are these things? Goes to the stage. There we go. In the wings. Hey, it's Gavin. What is it with today? Problem after problem. Act on. You ain't kidding. It's the two leading members of Gavin Ears, Apollo. Clavier on vocals and Darian on guitar. They're so cool. I have a hard time thinking of Clavier as anything but a prosecutor, obviously. Huh? What are they arguing about? Probably the case, I'd bet. My hog won't start, my guitar case is busted, my guitar has been burnt to a crisp, and to top it all off, someone's fucking dead. And then there was that performance just now. What was that all about? 
Hey man, don't blame me. You were the one who missed the cue. Me? Miss a cue? How could I conceivably get the most important part of the song wrong now? And what was that teeny playing of yours? We call it teeny. Sounds like they're having a spat. One of those differences in the musical direction bands are always splitting over. This is hardly the time. Hmm? What are you two doing here? Ah, mm, uh, hiya. We were just discussing the investigation, if you don't mind. Sorry. Wait. You were what? Listen. You need to confirm with that with the public of Borginia, Detective Crescent. Right. Anything else? What do you just call him? Detective? Ah, greetings. Jesus Christ, you have a literal dickhead. Criminal Affairs, Division 3. Uh, hello. <sighs> Apollo. You really don't know anything about the Gaviniers, do you? Something tells me that's about to be remedied. Sorry, but I'm not in the mood to talk about that right now. Even I can only take so much in one day. Funny, I always thought of prosecuting Gavin as one of those cool stoic types. And that's what that never complains. How wrong I was. Uh, I was wondering if you knew anything about this. That! Does it look familiar? Familiar? It's mine! That's my key ring! I've been looking all over for it. What?! This is yours, Mr. Gavin? I knew it. Apollo! How can you make that I knew it face? This is the key ring that was... Yeah, I know. Thanks, anyway. So, where did you find it? Um, actually, the victim was holding it. Like he was trying to keep it from the killer. Even if it meant his life. Wh what the victim? Mr. Latouse had my keys. Indeed. Hmm. When will my trials be over? Speaking of trials, I never heard Mr. Gavin whine in court like he has been today. Everyone was right about the flop I gave her that. Apollo! Mr. Gavin, maybe we can help. Tell us about your troubles today. I really don't think that's... Tell us! And we'll keep mum about the hearing for now. Are you blackmailing me, Frawley? <laughs> um, about the crime. Which crime do you mean? The murder, what else? Oh, that. For me, today has been a hit parade of crimes, you see. Prosecutor Gavin was singing the blues earlier, wasn't he? Something about his hog and his guitar case. Anyway, I'm afraid you know more about the killing of Mr. Lentos than I do. For now, at least. Huh? You were the one who found the body, yeah? Huh? Well, we were in the middle of a performance, no less. Aren't you going to examine the crime scene, Prosecutor Gavin? I'll leave that to Frawling Detective. When we want to step on her toes. They're not exactly best buddies, are they? I'm on Prosecutor Gavin, I think. Well, what to do next? We've already checked out the scene. Prosecutor Gavin may be right. He might be the most informed for once. Maybe Prosecutor Gavin can shed some light on things we found. I don't believe you, Apollo. How can you come to this concert and not know about the Gaviniers? It's not severe. It's not surprising. Why, even our ancestors knew nothing of America's existence once. Uh, I know America exists. The Gaviniers are just a, aren't an average rock band, Apollo. Each member is connected to the police somehow. The police? The real police. By day they pack heat, but by night they pack up the stage. By day those lips are inter those lips interrogate. By night they sing songs of unrequited passion. Uh, okay. They debuted seven years ago with 13 years hard time for love. Then came love with no chance of parole. Then my boyfriend is the prosecution's witness. The list of hits goes on and on. This here's my right hand man, Darian Crescent. I make the melodies, and he attacks them with his guitar. He is a bit of a rogue, really. Yeah, <laughs> and this guy's a bit of a perfectionist. When a performance goes the least bit wrong, he goes into this funk, just like today. I hope murder would be a more more pair off putting than a poor concert. The concert today? A disaster! I'll get to the bottom of this, and we'll see who missed a cube. The no, missed cube? They were arguing about that before. Great, I love nothing more than questioning tormented artists.
What's this Miss Q you keep talking about? You heard it, didn't you? From the audience? Um, actually, I didn't notice anything. See? No amateur is gonna pick up on that. Can you guarantee an entire audience of amateurs? No! Now take a look at this. What's that? A mixing board. We use it to record our concert tonight. Aren't we supposed to be investigating a murder? Well, we've come this far. Might as well go all the way. I've always wanted to learn about the recording industry. This is one of the devices used in recordings. Wow, holy shit. Of course, that's how we'll find the criminal guilty of missing his cue tonight. I'm more concerned with the other criminal, the one who kills people. You want help on the case? Then help me with mine. I guess rock and roll comes before prosecuting. Let's begin. First, we bring up the part of the performance in question. You simply choose the section of the song you wish to hear at the bottommost bar, like so. There it is. Now listen. Was something wrong? You couldn't hear it? Listen again, closely. Ah! Oh, the timing's a little off, isn't it? You see? There, right at the most important part. Even an amateur can hear it. An amateur with a mixing board, maybe. You're missing the point. We'll never stamp out crime until we're perfect. Perfect! Here he goes again. Right, here, air amateur. You will prove my point. Huh? Me? You will find the miscue. You will tell us which instrument, which part, is the guilty party. But how? Did I just not explain it? Use these sliders to adjust the volume for each part. Then you will find the part that is hopelessly bungles off cue. You'll find it with your untrained amateur ears. Nothing to do but try, Apollo. I guess. I admit, this looks kind of fun. First, a quick review. Use sliders to adjust volumes. Press the section of the song you wish to hear on the bottom part. Okay. I used to play piano. I can do this. It's the piano. So drums are fine. This part sounds a little off. Let's see. Air forehead. Yes? Let me guess. You got a D in high school and chorus, didn't you? How do you know? This part is perfection. Absolute perfection. I bet all the royalties from my last platinum selling album on it. The Yoti part is elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, I know you sold a bazillion records. Focus, Apollo. I'll cheer you on. Actually, it's probably better if you stay quiet. Let's give this another shot. Now was it, hold on, was it this? Hmm. 
This part is off. Which is that? Second guitar. Ah! It was you, Darian! Ah oh, well, looks like the cat's out of the bag. Ah oh, well, that's all you have to say? That kind of attitude lets killers walk free, Darian! Here they go again. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to ask about the concert. It's starting to feel like we're just wasting time. It's all about experience under our belts. That can't be bad. You were saying something about your motorcycle not starting? And something about your guitar case being busted? You're well informed. You mentioned it a few times. <laughs> it all happened this morning. It all it's all this key ring's fault. The key ring? It's got all my keys on it, yeah? My bike key, my car key, and the key to my guitar case. Wait, so this key ring... It disappeared. I thought I'd put it in my jacket pocket. Skitter Gavin's key ring disappeared? I had to come to the concert by taxi. How embarrassing. In order to get my guitar out, I had to break the lock. Wait, this guitar wasn't the one that... The very one. Up in flames. And right on stage, too. I actually thought that was part of the show. Crazy. And to top it off, Mr. Latouse's life was taken. Nobody told me about days like these. Strange days indeed. You think? What's wrong, Juicy? Well, I was just trying to make sense of everything. First, this heart-shaped keyring gets stolen. Then a very expensive guitar flares up on stage. Then Mr. Latouse dies. Yes, and... Could it all really be just a coincidence? Coincidence? Meaning? Diane, can you make any sense of all this? Hey, don't look at me. What do you think, Apollo? Huh? I mean, either Mr. Gavin's having a really bad day, or all this was planned. You are thinking what I'm thinking. Are you, Funk? I am. What? What? Hey, don't leave me in the dark with Spike here. The name's Apollo, but yeah, I agree. You know, something was bugging me too. The key ring and the guitar and the body. Slow down there, Paul. You look a whippy, you, you look a wee bit dizzy. He's bluffing, he hasn't figured it out. Fess up if you're a man, you're as clueless as I am. Huh? No, no, give Air Force a chance. Let's see your evidence of the connection, shall we? Evidence? Ah, I better think of something pronto. Come on, come on, come on, let's see it. What's the connection between all of Mr. Gavin's troubles? this, isn't it? A lyric sheet. The guitar serenade. What's that got to do with anything? It has everything to do with everything. Though I wouldn't have believed it if Fraulein hadn't pointed it out. What are you talking about, man? Enough with the riddles! Maybe it is a coincidence. Perhaps it means something. Don't you think, Fraulein? I do. Everything that's happened to Mr. Gavin today is predicted in the lyrics this is song. What? No way! Look, just think about everything that's happened in Mr. Gavin today. Let's listen in order of the in that they occurred. While we're reading this lyric sheet, first the keyring was stolen, and not just any keyring, a heart-shaped keyring. That's right here. When you stole away the keys, my heart held on for too long. Well, held on so too so tight. This is a heart holding keys. And next, this guitar burst into flame, burning in my heart, burning onto my heart, fire, burn my love away. And then Mr. Latouse was killed. Like a bullet of love, fire, take my life away. But, but that's crazy! Yeah, no kidding. So everything that happened today here, this is song predicted at all? Or perhaps it was the other way around. Huh? A criminal could have based his crime on the lyrics. 
but who would go through all that trouble? Someone who moves in mysterious ways, no doubt. I believe you've stumbled upon something quite vital, and quite annoying, Farley. <laughs> she looks pleased. The lyrics predicting the crime. Clavier? Seems a bit more than just a coincidence to me. I have to agree. The keyring, the guitar, and the murder. The keyring might have been dropped by accident, yet the victim was holding it. Hard to think it was unconnected. That's true. Prosecutor Gavin's as calm and collected as ever. So the criminal matched their actions to prove the lyrics. That sounds likely. Why would anyone do that? While we think about that, I'm going to get cracking on the biggest crime here. I'm going to talk to the Virginian Embassy about this Listerlet house. Ah, right. Thanks, Darian. I'll leave to pondering of the mysterious to you. I'm out of here. His hair is like a floppy dick. A foreign national, Mr. Lett's house was killed. It seems like that would have to be the point of all this. But they did more than that. They left us with not only a murder, but a mystery. Mr. Gavin sure is irritable today. Maybe this is the real prosecutor Gavin we don't get to see in the courtroom. I've had enough, frankly. If you find any more mysteries, do me a favor and keep them to yourselves, yeah? Yeah. I guess this is all we're going to get from Prosecutor Gavin. That leaves Lemoine to question. Prosecutor Gavin, do you know where Lemoine is now? Ah, oh, I had her go to my dressing room. With that pianist, Machi Tabai, of course. She seemed rather shocked by Mr. Sun Let by Mr. Latouse's sudden passing. Like Avenir's dressing room. Got it. Two guys hitting five foot in the Who's there? It's that guy again. There he goes again. Who is that guy? Huh? Trucy? You know, he didn't look sort of familiar. So he is a friend of yours. No, that's not it. Sorry, I don't remember. Curiouser and curiouser. Her room first. Well, ah, the What? What has happened? I heard that Mr. Latels has died. The more you speak. I mean, you speak English? Ah, uh, yes. I was invited here from the Republic of Virginia. But I am not Virginian by birth. But wasn't Mr. Latouse your interpreter? That, well... It was Mr. Latouse's idea. He thought it would add to the mystery, you see. Then your pianist is also... No, my chief device is Virginian. He does not speak English. Now please tell me. What has happened to Mr. Latouse? Why did he... Actually, Mr. Latouse was... Trucy. Huh? Remember what Prosecutor Gavin said? Not a word. But, but, Mr. Latouse is Lemoire's manager. That's not fair to her. I mean, isn't she a related to a... Isn't she a related party? Precisely who Prosecutor Gavin doesn't want to alert, I suspect. All we have been told is that wait here in this room. It is very unsettling. I'm sorry, but we're trying to figure it out ourselves. Do you think I could ask you some questions? Of course. I'm always willing to help. She's as calm as she looked on stage. I can't put my finger on why, but I like this Lamar. What is it, Lamarchi? What? But you'd be alone. Um, what seems to be the problem? Machi, he's not in, he's not good around strangers. He wishes to go out for a breath of fresh air. Would that be alright? Uh sure, of course. Very well. What is it that you wish to ask me about? Ooh, the silky smooth. The Republic of Virginia. That's in Northern Europe, right? I never had even heard of it. I started out singing in a restaurant. Then a producer called me. Before I knew it, here I am. You don't say. You know, my daddy plays piano in a restaurant. Producers tend to look for talent, Trucy. Amor, you're not from Virginia originally. Were you born here? 
Well... Oh, is that supposed to be a secret? Image is everything when you're a star. I know a bit about that, of course. Ah, uh, yes. It is something like this. A contract, you might say. I'm also not to speak of anything for Janice in public. Image is important, I guess. She's not all image, though. Her songs are lovely. A real landscape painter in the sound. Painter in what? She travels the world, turning the sights she sees into music. That's the secret to your music's beauty, right? You're very perceptive. Oh, I use your songs all the time in my stage act. I don't have to pay royalties for that, do I? Stop while you're ahead, Trucy. This landscape painter in sound, too, is an image. But without it, my songs would not be so widely heard. They even call you the siren of the ballad, right? Yeah, I'm in Bourgeonese, Lamois means the siren. I fear that I, perhaps already I was I am not the siren I once was. Mr. Latouse was my new manager. New? Yes, from three months ago. Around when I received Mr. Gavin's invitation to come. I met Mr. Latouse at my office. He was to be my manager and bodyguard. And as it turned out, my interpreter. Interpreter, even though you speak English. Yes, but we were to visit more places than just here. We had a concert in Japan scheduled after this one. Though I fear that may have began they might be at the cancel now. Was Mr. Latouse from the Republic of Virginia too? Well, he was the only with me for three months. I'm afraid there is much I do not know about him. And for now, I shall never know. No one will even tell me why he has died. I'm sorry. Prosecutor Gavin said we weren't to talk to anyone. Mr. Latouse was a talented man. The siren of the ballad. That phrase was his idea, you know. I'm happy for him that it has become so well known. The siren, that's what he meant. Huh? Apollo? You are the siren, right, Lemoy? That is the meaning of my name in Borgenese, yes. It was the name my producer gave me, but why do you ask? It's very important. I had to know for sure if the siren was you. What do you mean, important? I'll tell you. You deserve to know. Siren. It turns out it's a very important word in this case. How? When we found Mr. Latouse, he was still alive. What? I heard him say something. His last words. Mr. Latouse, can you hear me? Ask witness. Hang in there, Mr. Latouse. Tell me, who was the witness? The witness is the sire. He said sire. Really? I was the only one there to hear him, but I'm sure that's what he said. Mr. Latouse said that? Ask the witness, and you're the sire, Lamar. Did you see what happened? Lamar? Might I ask, are you with the police? Eh? Well, no. I'm a defense attorney. An attorney? Yet there have been no arrests, yes? Is that a problem? Does an attorney not work for a client? If you have no client, you should leave the investigation to the police, I think. But Lemoire, we... I'm sorry, but I cannot answer your questions. I'm afraid you lack the authority to ask them. Ugh, why? If she witnessed the crime, why won't she tell us? I believe we are through here. I believe so. Your pianist, Natchi, was it? He's cute, like a little porcelain doll. He's very European. I met him while singing in restaurants in Virginia. He is an orphan, yet he is playing as exquisite. So he came to live with me. It's like a fairy tale almost. I noticed he hardly leaves your side. Yes, well, he is blind. At first, I hesitated at dragging him across the world. He doesn't speak English either, does he? He never left Virginia before we met. I made his presence part of my contract. Machi and I together are l'amour, together always. That reminds me. Does this brooch look familiar to you? My brooch? Yes, well, it might be mine. Yours, l'amour. I was wearing a brooch earlier, you see. I must have lost it. Well, that explains the brooch we found. It was in, it was Lamar's. Thank you. I was wondering where I dropped it. So this brooch belongs to her. That begs the question. Is something wrong, Apollo? What was this brooch doing at the crime scene? Did you want to take a look at this, Lamar? I'm sorry, I'm not sure what to say. I wish I could help you. Ah, don't worry about it. Certainly one of the most pleasant refusals I've had.
What's this? Oh, it's a body. Seeing these mirrors, oh, okay. So that means I need a presenter or something. Piece, maybe. Is there anything else? Is there a place where we can ask Trucy questions? Oh shit! Are these bullet holes? Looks like it. There are two in here in the wall. Well, if there are two marks, they must have missed twice. Not necessarily. Some revolvers can put a bullet through a person. So it wasn't necessarily a miss. Ouch, sounds painful. Holy shit. I didn't just, I just missed these. Ah, Apollo! Look at the thing. It's huge. That... that's a TV. Uh, yeah, wide flat screen TV. I want one of those. Someday when I'm a famous attorney, I'll get one. But Daddy never had one. I don't think he ever even had money when he was a lawyer. Great. Just stump on my dreams, why don't you?
Look at all these presents. I'm more sure it's popular. I got a presents one from a person in the audience. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Maybe I get one someday. From someone you defend. That's called getting paid, and I certainly hope I do. I can't view the thing in the jig right there. I guess it's not important. Well, that's a big instrument case. That's a case for a contrabass, I think. You could fit 20 violins in there, I bet. It may look like a violin, but it's a completely different instrument. <laughs> you could cut in there, I bet. Look, a ladder. Is there anything out of place here? Not really. I don't see anything. Hmm.
I just missed it. Thank you, Strategy Wiki. What are these letters at the bottom? I've never seen these before. It must be our native tongue, Borgenese. A landscape painter in sound. This is how it translates, roughly. Please take one. A landscape painter in sound. It's a nice image. Postcard added to the court record. Okay, go to the backstage now. There we go. Fucking finally. Whoa, who's there now? Ah, oh, it's you. Where were you? Act, Emma! Is something wrong? She looks grumpier than usual. You bet something's fucking wrong, the impossible's happened! Ah, it's all your fault, you know! Oops, maybe this is about us leaving the crime scene. What do you mean by impossible? Well, it's gone. Utterly gone. What's well, gone? The body, stupid! What else? Eh? Mr. Latos's body has disappeared! What?! Prosecutor Gavin. Quite the pick. Gidra's gone missing. It was in the dressing room. That's all that is born right now. Scary shit, dude. Morning, Prosecutor Gavin.
Good luck. like this in a country so far from everything he's ever known. Uh, maybe Lamar can help, but you didn't prosecute a Gibbons who said say she was with him. Jesus, what the fuck? Yeah. Alright, we're done for now. <laughs>